Hi guys, this is Ash here, and this is my review of the Mid Team 1.1 Ice Cream Sandwich ROM from Maxi Set for the Galaxy Note GTN 7000. So, just to show you guys, let me quickly go to the About Phone section, and there you can see it's the Mid Team 1.1, and that's Android 4.3 Ice Cream Sandwich. So, I've been using this ROM for a few days now, I've almost a week, and it's, I found it to be extremely stable and snappy. Uh, there is a little bit of lag, lag at times like when you open up Tyler and so on you can see that one second lag over there uh, but you know overall it's a very stable ROM uh, most of the features you know that have not been working with previous edits like for example in previous versions of the mid note ROM when you turn off Wi-Fi and you actually turn it back off and try turning it on again it tends to crash or not work those kind of issues have been fixed and we used to have an issue with Bluetooth or the AVRCP part of Bluetooth wherein when you use a Bluetooth headset uh, you know you might not be able to pause or play music and those issues have been taken care of as well and similarly like uh, for example when you're testing out when I'm testing out you know the message messaging and I send a message to myself uh, when you receive a message there is the vibration feature you used to not work for message notification and that has been fixed with this release as well you, the phone does vibrate when you get messages or calls so that's perfect and all your apps work, Dropbox, uh, Gallery, everything loads up pretty quick, there's no, uh, there are no issues with force closes or whatever and in about the week that I've been using this ROM I've had one force close at max. Uh, all your ice cream sandwich features work well, you can just you know swipe stuff, throw it off to close it, uh, it works and the same thing when it comes to uh, notifications as well, just swipe to close it and it works very well uh, well apart from that guys the, qu the quick dial feature has been fixed as well uh, you can just uh, type on the letters of a contact and you can you get the contact details so that works fine on the on the downside you know there are still some Chinese characters that show up once in a while uh, like for example with calendar and it's the same way when you're making a call uh, some Chinese name might be displayed these are parts of you know the base being uh, a leak so this is how it is right now hopefully in future releases we can see these being fixed uh, so you know for those people who who actually think you know the numbers mean something let me quickly run a full benchmark so let's run a benchmark and see how mid, mid team 1.1 fares so you got the results there guys uh, the phone is hitting around 3869 on benchmarks and that is a pretty decent on what you get with uh, the Galaxy Note most times. So, for those uh, you know who need these numbers to compare with other ROMs and stuff, this is what you get. Uh, and again, most features work fine. The Play Store works, and since this is a TouchWiz based ROM, unlike you know AOSP ROMs like Stunner, all your all your TouchWiz features work as well. Like for example, double tapping using the S Pen and the button opens up S Memo, and you can just write whatever you want because forever and uh, similarly pressing and holding with the button pressed gives you a screenshot and your S Pen functionality like you know when, when there's little pressure you get thin lines and more pressure thick lines that is you know in other words the pressure sensitivity still works there is one glaring omission when it comes to touch functionality uh, you can all when you swipe uh, using the notification bar if you've seen my tics, tricks and trip tips uh, to, to, I mean video for the galaxy you node this should be changing the brightness and that doesn't work and uh, just to show you guys I'm, I don't have automatic brightness enabled it's disabled and still uh, the notification slider cannot be used to change brightness settings that is one place where I see touch was not working but apart from that, it's a great ROM, guys. It's it might not be the fastest around, but but I definitely say this is the best ROM when it comes to ice cream sandwich and touch with together. And the camera works fine too, no issues. Take pictures, 8 megapixel, 1080p videos, no issues whatsoever. Uh, guys, one more small issue that I ran across uh, with Chrome Beta is that with chrome beta you're not i'm not able to view any flash content or you know my youtube videos for that matter this is what it says the video is unavailable or the plugin does not work or something like that and this rom does not come with flash by default so once you install flash uh you know viewing videos and stuff using the default browser 
has no issues it's just with chrome beta i came across this and i thought i'll let you guys know because with a normal browser the same video does work just tap on play it goes into full screen and it loads the video up fine and that's my video before we go one last thing and probably the biggest shortcoming of this rom in my opinion uh, would be the battery life uh, if you can see this test is for when this is uh, this contains data for six and a half hours let's take the last one hour off where i actually started charging so for about five hours my battery sh battery usage went from uh, 85 percent to about 53 percent that's about a 35 percent drop in five hours which means you know the rom generally gives me around 15 to 20 hours but as you can see most of the times i've not been using the phone uh, well, as far as battery life goes, as I said, 15 to 20 hours is what I get with this ROM and with gingerbread ROMs like the Czech ROM, I get about 30 to 40 hours and uh, even with the ICS ROM Stunner, which does not have touch wheels, I get about 30 to 30, 35 hours solid. So the battery life is not the best and I've uh, not really been using it a lot. I've been making a few calls or using Bluetooth and stuff, but it's not heavy usage. It's low to moderate usage, and I get around 15 to 20 hours on this. And guys, uh, as you can see, the bay, the modem that I'm using is the LP6. By default installation of this ROM, you will not get an LP6 modem. Uh, I actually installed the LP6 modem, and after that, I'm getting a little better battery life as in the 15 to 20 hours. And without the LP6 modem, it was even worse than this. So that's pretty much it for this uh, review, guys, of the Mid Team 1.1 ROM for the uh, Galaxy Note GDN 7000. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section or hit me up on Facebook or Twitter. Or you can send me an email. All my contact details are in the description. Uh, so, uh, you know, if it's something technical, I'd suggest you actually email me instead of leaving it in the comment section because the comment section does tend to get clustered up and it's difficult for me to keep a track of what I've been saying to you guys. Uh, so that's pretty much it. As far as the Mid Team 1.1 ROM goes, like I've said multiple times in this review so far, it's very stable and it's a very, very decent ROM. I would definitely suggest you use it, but keep in mind of the battery aspect of this as well. Uh, so once again, that's pretty much it guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, before you go, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my videos because I will be making more videos for the Galaxy Note uh, and hope you guys can stay subscribed. So thanks a lot for watching. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.